Follow, all right. Follow what's going on. This is in 1996. The brother on the left hand side, right, which is their general, their elder, he said Esau Kingdom was supposed to end. God gave him a revelation. Esau Kingdom was going to end in the year. And my elders, all right, who I still respect dearly and highly, my elders were Ashaf, Ra'im, and Iaquar had a school in Los Angeles in the 90s called Sons of Jacob. All right. They had a school in the 90s called Sons of Jacob. And that school was an offshoot. All right. That school was an offshoot from ISUPK. From ISUPK. My elder Rasha, which is an older gentleman in the 60s now, he found the truth in the city of Inglewood. And he was taught by one of the leadership in ISUPK that was in LA trying to start his school. My elder Rashaf did not go to New York. He stayed in LA, but his brother and his cousin, they went to New York to learn. And when they came back, he had established his own school called Sons of Jacob. After Sons of Jacob, my elder Rashaf did not go to New York. He stayed in LA, but his brother and his cousin, they went to New York to learn. And when they came back, he had established his own school called Sons of Jacob. From Sons of Jacob, right? That was in the 90s. After Sons of Jacob, um, when you get to like the uh, 2000s, right? In that era, um, they started, when Sons of Jacob had a split, they started True Nation. Elders. Shout out to my elders, man. Shout out to I Aqua. This is my, one of my elders, man. Um, and and double honors to that that brother, man. And I want to say this, you know, I do want to get my elders on one day to get a testimony. But these are my elders, and this is one of my elders, and he's he's letting it be known. So my elders learned under Ariala of I uh, uh, ISUPK, which was one of the top generals of ISUPK. So when y'all going around. This brother don't know. This brother came from under a rock. This brother, this brother did this. Who is this young brother that don't know nothing that been binge watching? Video? You don't even know who I am. You don't even know who I am. You don't even know who I am. You don't even know. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Harukah Kwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the bishop elders, top men of Great Millstone, also. Shalom to you other elders that's been laboring and doing your part and you brothers, the Akium, Akwaf, you feel your Akwaf sisters as well. Uh, I want to go in this video here, back on these guys again, but it was inspired by a comment that um, uh, Elder uh, Yasha Wamba of the Dallas camp left when I did this video in the year 2000 prophecy. And I went into the fact that, you know, that was a curriculum that was taught at One West. And, uh, you know, as usual, uh, Yasha Wamba, he left a beautiful comment. He said, well, and I didn't really think about that, but it's true. Uh, um, Nate taught that doctrine. Yohanna taught that doctrine. Right? Zabak and the rest of them who was at One West. So this is kind of crazy because this young man is speaking on matters that he don't understand okay he's speaking on things that he don't have full understanding of he doesn't know the history about one west he doesn't know much about it and as he's twiddling his hands he's trying to make it up as he go along like he knows now ishpk from what i understand going back to the late 60s that's nothing more now than the knockoff of one west they just kept the name. The ICBK you see today was the uh, was the name that was kept. The uh, Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, from what I've been taught, right? And that's where my elders and apostles uh, learned under, and ultimately I've learned under it. But they would, you know, the original 
the originals of One West. Okay, just to give a little history, I'm not going to see me. I'm not going to talk about uh, uh, Elder Barack or, or Bishop Nate on those levels of that history, except when Nate was calling on the name Yahweh Bashim Yahshan, he does it now. He, you know, he actually flipped the script. Apostle Tahar was calling on the name Yahweh Bashim Yahshan, and he didn't flip the script. He he kept what he was taught. Right, so. He's not teaching the year 2020 is uh, uh is we going to be delivered we you know 2021 we don't we don't know but this was a a old one west doctrine and he said the men that started true nation Israelites which he learned off of they learned off of IBK which was one west which means they were following the year 2000 prophecy too but he can only see videos of Apostle Taha, who was obviously on fire more than the, uh, the other Jakes. I mean, I'm not going to say uh, I've seen old videos of High Priest Arya and um, all the other elders with him, and they was on fire. I mean, those men, they was on fire. And I remember seeing uh, uh, High Priest Arya, he was saying, you know, the thing about the year 2000. So this is what was taught in One West. I should be K, General Yohanna, all of them, everybody was in One West. So this this young man, he he doesn't know. He has his foot in his mouth. If his teachers wasn't from One West, then he can make the argument. But then he would have to say it was all of One West. I mean, that would make more sense, right? But this guy. Because he's young and he thinks because he came in the truth in 2011 or 12 or whatever it is, makes him somebody. You see, he said, y'all don't know who I am. This makes him somebody. He wants to feel like somebody, but he doesn't have the tr he doesn't have the understanding. That's why the scripture says wipe the, the moat out of. Well, let me get that real quick uh, before I get any more scriptures. You know, this is not making any sense. You have to understand before. You start making ex ac uh, accusations. And, and, th and this is all because he is upset because a brother got on him. And that's where it's supposed to have lied. You know, the brother got on him for going off. And the, uh, the correct Jake has become a big issue with these e effeminates, you know. Um, let's go here. Let's go to um, Matthew 73. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considereth not the beam that is in thine own eye, right? Basically being a hypocrite. You, you're, you're complaining about, uh, you're mad at a brother who got on you about whatever, but then you go in and talk about uh, One West, uh, I'm an apostle to Harv of, of GMS, which th that wasn't a name back then. They was all One West. So you got that problem. So then, at the same time, you have a teacher who learned under One West, who learned under the same uh, curriculum, the same doctrine of One West, the 2000 prophecy. You know, you're the same one, right? Same one. So how are you going to talk? How are you going to talk? First Peter five and five. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourself unto the elder. Yea, all. Of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility, for Yahweh resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. At the end of the day, you know, we still have to, you know, these men that's been out there, even in One West, if they're going off, you get on them about their doctrine and what they're teaching. And that's what we do at Great Millstone. We don't make a personal attack at Nate or Yohanna, you know, at least we don't now. We don't make these personal attacks, and I've grown in the spirit not to do that, right? But my, my main thing is to de defend the doctrine. And you don't have to go out with, in, in, as they call us, slanderers and rapists and everything else. You don't have to go and, and, and pull up an old clip of uh, a, um, a prophecy, so to speak. And as I said before, um, martyrs of Yahawashah, them young brothers, were following um, Adam Abbott, they didn't believe in the mark of the beast, which would have made them false prophets because they was prophesying falsely. That's all they're saying. It's not just 
because you didn't see something because something didn't come to pass is because you're prophesying falsely you're saying the mark mark of the beast not the microchip well they woke up out of that and now they they're teaching the mark of the beast is the chip so which one of them is right the most high said he's only dealing with a doctrine okay so you're just as you're just as guilty then you know and you, are, you have to understand because because it was a so-called false prophecy you have to understand that you're following the same uh the doctrine but apostle taha is not following that prophecy right we don't move on past that and how many uh, how many of those guys dropped out where are they at oh they popped up now and threw on their matching garments a lot of them took breaks you know what luke 9 62 says if any man take of his hand for the, from the plow, he's not fit for the kingdom, right? Okay, this is uh, uh, Sirach 3, let me see, 11, Ecclesiasticus 11 and 7. It says, blame not before thou examine the truth. Understand first and then rebuke. And that's what these young uh, young uh, Jakes should have did. They, but they got in their emotional emotions and they wanted to say, Pastor the heart it. and everybody got this clip all over YouTube. But everybody that followed the doctrine was was going into the uh the, the, the year two thousand thing. Everybody was going into it. But what what makes you a prophet is not that because something didn't come to pass, is how you continue to do the Lord's work. Are you going to continue to uh fight on and do the Lord's work? Or are you going to make a, a, a false prophet make these ex assumptions and what happens is when the assumptions is when when it's not come to pass, then they they flee away. You know, then you don't see them no more. So anyway, th th what happened here was the one where split. I don't know. I know what I know about it, and that's all I'm going to go about it. But I'm not going to go on Yohanna, Nate, or uh, Priest Zabak, Bishop Nate, or Priest Zabak, or or Elder Barak. I'm not going to go into that personal stuff of of one West. But understanding it was a one West thing. Okay. It was a one west thing. It says uh verse 10, my son meddle not with many matters, for if thou meddle much, thou shalt not be innocent. Because you get yourself so far involved in something that you become more j just as guilty as the person you're blaming. And if thou follow after, thou shalt not obtain, neither shalt thou escape by fleeing. <clears throat> you know? So I just wanted to touch on that. I just wanted to go into th that. Didn't want to make this an ongoing thing, but I just wanted to show this was inspired by uh, El Elder Yashawamba, and he made a good point. These other uh, uh, elders of One West was uh, following their same doctrine, right? They all, you know, because it was taught. And when you are, uh, you are with a group like these Jakes. What what made them leave the true nation? I mean, it ain't my business, but they had elders, and they left them. I don't know if they moved or whatever, but whatever 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 unit you're in, that's what you're gonna follow. The comforter, he he had everybody believing he was the comforter. Why wasn't mass videos on that? But everybody believed it. Now because somebody was in there, and I was in that school at one upon a time, upon a time, would that make me a false prophet now? No. It might have made me just uh, um, lost at that time because I didn't know. That's who I was with. And you kind of tend to stick with who you're with and who, who you look up to. Right? And because something doesn't come to pass or something that right, nobody knows, you know, the future except the Lord of what you're going to do. So the men that left there, guess what? Priest of Bach is still teaching. You know? Uh, Elder Barak is still teaching. Okay, these guys and the, the two on the right, Bishop Nate and in um, uh, General Yohanna, the bishop and the general, they got the five hundred one c three, but they're talking great about those men who got government subsidies to help with their ministry. That's crazy. That's all I have on that. Shalom.